Hi everybody, it's Candy from Custom Queen Designs and I am here to do, I don't know if you would call this a dirty pour tray. I'm going to use, I guess it's a strainer pour. I'm gonna use this strainer. I'm gonna pour my paints through the strainer onto the tray, let them all drip out and then I'm gonna so I gotta, I, I gotta ask, right? Yeah. Like, why, why the strainer? Why not just your, your other technique? The, you know, just pouring it. How so, you been doing the other trays? Well, the other trays, it's, it's a freestyle. You know, you just pour the paints and move it around. But this one, it's a little bit more controlled. And as you know, when paints drip through the holes, it's, I don't know how to say it. Yeah, I was gonna. Say, I, I was gonna say I, I. I don't know. You know what what word well, that is. Well, it's more controlled, so a pattern comes out when it's poured through the holes. Ah. And I want to see what the pattern would look like with the colors that I put together. So I heard you say freestyle before, but it sounds premeditated. So it's like a premeditated freestyle. Kind of, sorta. Of, yeah. Hmm. Yep. Okay. So we're gonna do that, and this is gonna be a. a make it or break it <laughs> because it might not work yeah. but hey if you if, anyway. if you don't see it on the page it didn't work mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just joking i'm joking man it's gonna be on the page regardless <laughs> anyway okay so today we're gonna be using apple barrel paints again this time i'm gonna be using laguna apple barrel laguna wait go on focus 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 there we go laguna. okay and we're going to be using trusty white mm -hmm. and our trusty black. Copy, copy. Alrighty, so I've already put my paints in the cup. I haven't put any water in them yet. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Excuse me. Just a splash, folks. Remember, you can always add more as needed. You cannot take the water out once it's in there. Just a splash. Mix. And again, you want to get it to a consistency that you feel comfortable with pouring. And that looks pretty good to me. So we'll move on to the next. It's still a little kind I'm of still thick. A little thick yeah. So I'm just gonna add another small splash of water. Splash. And this color, this color in particular seems pretty thick, but some of them may be thicker <coughs> than others. Just <clears throat> add water as needed. It's not always gonna be an equal measurement for every color you use. Do you, do you notice that that some of the uh, some of the colors maybe have a little bit more pigment or they're, they're thicker or something like that? Or? Yeah, it seems like they're a little bit thicker. Certain colors. I just wanted to get at least to the point where it kind of drips off the. Like it was with the, the white paint, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Getting there. Yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. All right. Let's go ahead to the Rather air on the side of caution, right? Yeah. Now, why is that? Why wouldn't you just add a little bit more water? Anything because that, uh... if I add some more and it gets maybe too too loose, then it's gonna completely mess up the pour. If it comes out too fast, mm -hmm. it'll it'll be runny. Gotcha. And you don't want it to look runny. Gotcha. So as long as the other two paints that I'm using are pretty much pourable, mm -hmm. it'll pull that color mm -hmm. when I mix them together. And let's see the black. See how yeah. the black and white The black and the flowing. white are basically flowing, yeah. Okay, so since we got them mixed, next we're gonna get them poured into a cup and then we're gonna get this going. So I want to start with, hmm. I think I'll start with white. 
So I'm gonna put some white down in here. A little bit of this. bit of that I'm gonna do some of the Laguna and then on top of the Laguna I'm gonna put just a little bit more black and a little bit more black okay and then on top of that I'm gonna put just a dot of the white This is what I'm pouring. Looks like an eyeball. Sweet. Thank you. I'm artistic. <laughs> you ain't do that on purpose. <laughs> she ain't that cool, y'all. You'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm going to just pour my paint into the strainer. And this strainer, you can use any strainer that you wanna use. This is just the one that I happen to have right now. And I said, hey, let me try this. And I got this from Dollar Tree a long time ago, so. So it's not necessarily about the size that you think the size I'm, of those holes are better or anything? Or? Um, I've seen people do it with smaller. I'm gonna try it with this one. Uh -huh. Maybe the pattern might be cool looking and look a little bit different, I'm not sure. So I'm just gonna try it and see. Copy, copy. It never hurts to try. Proceed, madam. Okay, and here we go. So you're gonna, okay, you're pouring with the strainer down, touching the tray, and then you're just gonna lift away after you get it all in there? Yep. Okay, and she's not really pouring in any particular manner. Just kind of going around all over the place. Let's see. <clears throat> so, little by little, I'm gonna lift this up, and if you wanna try to. All right, so it's a slow lifting. I was hoping that it would drip out a little faster than this, but... Maybe you should have made that Laguna a little bit runnier. It'll be alright. We'll be patient. Ooh, but there's some very pretty things happening. Let me try to zoom for you folks a little bit. Baby, so far it's looking like you've done it again. God damn it. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. Uh, what's happening there randomly, like somebody would have to work forever to try to do that on purpose with a paintbrush, man. So I'm waiting until most of this drops out because I know that's not going to be enough paint, which is why I mixed up as much as I did. So I'm just going to start adding the individual colors on top of each other and let those drip down. So first I'm going to go with some of the blue, the Laguna blue. Maybe don't pour it off. Maybe pour a little I'm bit. Not gonna, not yeah. do it all. And then put a little bit more of the other one, then a little bit until they all get empty. Something like that. Yep. You kind of see both. That's cool for them too. I hope you guys can kind of see both. Well, probably not now. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Keep doing what you're doing. I'm going to move to kind of see if I can let them see how it's coming out of the strainer and see what's happening below at the same time. Yeah, I'm just moving this around a little bit. Trying to help that blue come down because the blue is really thick. Even though I diluted it with water, it's still kind of, kind of thick. So I'm going to go ahead and go in. Maybe drop some of the runny paint on top of it, force it out. White. There we go.
Yeah. Yeah. Let me do some work. That's gonna help push it a little bit. Ooh, that looks kinda of cool. Mm -hmm. I only got one hand. Okay, so I'm gonna sit this over here and now I'm gonna play around with it a little bit and see what we get. So she's kind of let it run to the inside edge of the inside run. And you're just gonna just keep rotating and, and let it. Mm hmm. And then go back that way a little bit. Just kind of... There you go. And then. That's pretty. So, so pretty. I am going to use some more paint, you guys. It's just, I wanted to see how far I could get with what I got so far. Sure. And again, as I said, this is the first time I've done this type. Should I put the paint back in the strainer again? Yeah. Can I do the other pour? Yeah, dump and the rest of it. Up? Dump the rest of what you got in these cups right here in that strainer. And let that bad boy slide. I'm loving this. This is so pretty. Okay, so. Patience is a virtue. I'm going to lay it down so far. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pick my strainer back up, you guys, and I'm just going to go right back in with some more paint. Let's start. Okay. Maybe trying to go into the spots where did was I just moved it over a bit as I'm pouring. Yeah. And now it's dripping over there on that edge. Yeah. That was bare. And 
Let's move it over a little bit more. If you ever use this Laguna Blue, make sure you mix it up. More water. Because it's very, very, very thick. I think you can start coming over here now. That pan over there will slide right in that, in that corner when you lift it. And depending on how high or low you hold it, get a different look from that too. Yeah, because of course you're not touching it down to the pan anymore because you don't want to mess up anything that you have, right? Yeah. See if we can get this going through these holes. There we go. You got a little bit more paint in the cups, right? Yeah, I just want to make sure I have enough to cover everything. I can always pour more black and white, but I think I used the whole bottle of the, the Laguna. And that's the one I kind of want to get in there a little bit more, you know? Scoop them cups up a little bit more because I really don't think that you need that much more paint. What you have over there on the far side, thats I think that's definitely going to be enough to cover that side over there for okay, sure. Well, let me go ahead and... Okay, let's see if I know what I'm talking about. Sorry. So let me see if I can bring that down to me. And I'm sorry, you guys. I'm trying to turn it in a way that you're able to see it. Yeah, that tilted back. It looks like it wants to go up over the lip there. Yeah, no, it's okay. Because I might eventually, you know, just let it cover the whole cover the whole top. I did it on the other ones. Okay. This is just a matter of patience, sir. Yeah, it's pretty much all it is, is just letting it do its thing. Gravity is our friend. Oh, wow, that, that looks, looks really, really nice. cool. I'm looking at it, what the, wow. <laughs> yeah, I went over the lip. We'll be alright. We're trying to get it to meet. Rotate. Keep that angle or tilt or rotate. That's gonna fill itself up as you rotate. That looks so cool. See that little hole right there filling itself in, guys? I don't know if you can see it, it's moving so slow. Yeah, it's almost there. Bye bye, little hole. You are such a weirdo. Yeah. I mean, it's not like I'm trying to act like it ain't true, you know. <laughs> With the true weird. Yeah, I can see you throwing that out there like he was exposing me, you know. So I'm not. <laughs> okay. Everybody knows me knows I'm a weirdo. Well, 
guys he told you himself. but you married me so what does that say about you i'm a weirdo too i guess so what do you guys think so far let's zoom out a little bit same wow that's a beaut keep it right there and bring the slide around a little bit so we can get a look Ooh wee well, I am and I think I am gonna let it go over to the lip because I like the way it looks wow that's really pr wow Mm, mm, mm. Sooner or later, you guys are gonna we're gonna be starting these videos, and you guys are gonna hear me like not doubting or questioning what she's doing. I mean, she's been doing this to me for years. I don't know why that why I still ask her like, "Babe, are you sure?" I, I should just let her do it because she's always right. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. Just keep it still. Do a zoom. I can't really keep it still, babe. Just for a sec, just for a sec. There you go. Ooh, that's pretty. That is very, very pretty. My shadow's in the way. And this is where it tends to get messy because if you go over the sides, your hands are going to get messy. Mm. Which is why I wear gloves. Gloves, gloves, gloves. Yeah. So after you get it all covered like how you want it, you're gonna leave it to sit and dry, what, for like about two days or so? Yeah. Two, three days? And for a couple of days, let it completely dry. And yes, you guys, I use my fingers in this as well. If I wanna get all the way to the edge, it doesn't hurt it. It's not gonna do anything to it. Just. But that is beautiful. But yeah, um, as I said, I'm gonna let it dry for a couple of days, wow, and then crap. I'll actually um, epoxy it. I doubt if I'll put. I don't know if I'll put glitter in it or not. Man, if you do, I mean, of course it'll probably look beautiful. But that is stunning, even if it don't have no glitter. I'm gonna yeah. try to. I gotta stop looking and, and keep filming. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that very much. So, I mean, is there anything else? You're just going to keep doing this and everything until you get it all over the edge how you want it? Yeah. I mean, that's about it, guys. Um, give it a try. You know, like we always tell you to do. I know a lot of you guys are, are, are friends of Candies on Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, stuff like that. You know, take a picture of how it comes out. Tag her to it. We like looking at them. You guys have done some beautiful uh, dirty pour wine glasses. I've seen some of them. They're oh, beautiful. I've seen some gorgeous dirty pour wine glasses. Oh that yeah. People have done. Oh yeah. Like it's fun. You once you start doing it, you kind of. I got addicted to doing dirty pours because they're just. It's amazing to look at the patterns that you can make, and no pattern is going to be the same no matter what you do. So. This is so pretty to me. Yeah. All right, guys, so you, again, you know, just give it a try, you know, take a photo, tag Candy to it so we can see how it comes out for you. And if I'm able to, I'll put a picture of the completed prod product of this in the comments if it'll allow me to. I'm not sure if I can or can't, mm. but I'll try. Right. And if not, if you're my friend on Facebook, then I'll post it on my page. I'll post it in some of the groups that I'm in. And if you're not a friend of mine on Facebook, you can be my friend. It's Candy and Duncan on Facebook. All right. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys. Later. Thank you. Bye.